Hey guys, Dennis here at Federal Shipyard. I'm back. Uh, it's been about three months. Um, I had a client build I had to get done. He uh, ordered three cars. I think it was the star, they were the star cars from the last Starfighter. He wanted them, a couple of them lit and everything, so it took some time to get done. And then, of course, you have problems with burnout lights and stuff like that there when, you, when you're testing them. And so it took a little longer than I expected, but I'm back. So back to the protector here. Um, <clears throat> I think the last thing I did is I had the coat of white on there uh, for it to be lit up and stuff like that there. And let's see, now I've got the command deck all wired up and ready to go here. Just got to glue this on and glue everything back on, glue it on here, and then run the wire down through. And it kind of come out here with, your, uh, with the rest of the wires here. Uh, what I'm going to do is get going on that then. And as soon as I have something substantial taken care of, I'll come back and show it to you. So I'll just be back in just a few. All right, guys. I got the uh, bottom part of the bridge or the command hall put on. Normally, this this uh, ship comes with the way that you can take it off. But since I'm lighting it, I'm not going to have it come on off. So I'm just, I just actually got it glued in place now, the bottom part of it. I got it covered the the light part here because I'm going to be putting like a a clear coat of um, pearl on it, I believe it is. Um, and what I'm doing before I do that, though, is I'm putting a little bit of blue uh, tape on little segments of it to make it look like panels on the ship. When this, uh, my idea that I'm to do different uh, layers of uh, kind of like a white, to like, just a slight off-white, stuff like that, just so that way, as you're looking at the ship from a distance, it's going to look all kind of like a off-white or kind of white. But when you get closer to it, and with the sheen that it's going to have, it'll, when the light hits it, you'll actually see little panel lines and little panels on it. Uh, that's what I'm shooting for. So, as you can see, they got quite a bit of it on there. I mean, not real quite a lot, but just enough to make it interesting when it, when it turns into the light, because I don't want it to be overpowered like when you see it all the time. I want it to just be like subtle. A little bit on the bottom. Gotta do a little bit more back here. And let's see. Yeah, I still gotta do a little bit along this side because I, I want both sides to match. Not identical, but to match pretty good. So, with about the same amount on it. Um, so, I'll get back at it. When I get that first coat on there, I'll come back and show it to you. So, back in just a few guys. Alright. I got the painting done. I did the, I gave it like a, a slight, or not slight, but a light coat, uh, or dusting you might say, of um, pearl over the top of it with those uh, panels that I had marked out with uh, the blue tape. It turned out pretty good. Uh, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it or not. Let me see if I get close enough here if you can see that. But this is where some of the tape was up here along the sides. Um, like I said, I don't know how you, well you're going to see that, but, um, but it actually turned out pretty good. It just gives it a slight variation. When you look straight at it, you can see them, and then when it, as you turn it at, a, at an angle, the light will reflect off in it, and you can see them that way too. It turned out pretty good. And I have the power hooked up. I got the command deck and everything hooked up to it. Uh, the model had it to where it was supposed to be, you could, you could have it come off because it had magnets for it, but I wanted it to stay on there, so I just glued it on in place. And this is what it looks like with that. I did the light gray for the top part here. I still got to put a couple parts up here in the front. But now what I'm going to be working on is uh, working on the connecting the, the wings to it and running the wires down the, the wings here for the engines. I have to light block all this. There's some windows here I'm going to have to grind out. It's going to be awful hard to do that because they're right on the thickest part of the wing. So what I might end up doing is just uh, taping it off in the back and then putting lights behind it and have them kind of like do a... have the light come through the, the hull in those spots where the windows are. The, I think it's uh, the Raytheon lighting 
do it that way I guess. We'll experiment with it as I go along here to see how it's going to work. But uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good with the, <clears throat> with the panel lighting, the lines on it actually looks pretty cool. Alright, that's where I'm at now for this. Uh, I think I'm going to end this little segment. I need to get something up. I haven't been ahead of anything up in uh, a few months. So that's where I'm going to end this one. But thank you for watching. Thanks all my, to my new subscribers for uh, subscribing. Uh, yeah, just hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any comments, you can hit it, uh, put it in below and I'll get back to you. And uh, we'll see you in the next one in just a few.